If your friend has bed bugs in their home, you are indeed at risk. Because bed bugs can easily latch onto your clothing, accessories, and virtually any item on your person, the more times you frequent your friend's home, the more odds increase that a few bed bugs will exit with you. In this video, we will detail what to look for in an effort to find out if your friend's home has bed bugs, how to avoid taking them home with you, and what you can do to protect yourself and your belongings when you visit your friend, and when this friend comes to visit you. Because this subject can be a bit touchy and perhaps sensitive, how you handle this situation can go far beyond the problem itself. The last thing you want to do is embarrass your friend or have them think you view them as dirty and unclean. How you handle the subject in conversation is just as important as directly addressing the issue of bed bugs. The first thing you must know, even though it's rather obvious, is that having bed bugs in your home is an embarrassing subject. Most people, even your closest friend, will likely have a difficult time telling you that they have a bed bug infestation. Having said that, the only true way to know if your friend's home has bed bugs is to examine their bed thoroughly. And for the most obvious of reasons, you probably won't get that opportunity to conduct such a detailed inspection. I mean, it is a bit strange to go over your friend's bed with a fine tooth comb. The easier and certainly more subtle way is to inspect your own body. Do you find yourself with bite marks on your arms and legs following an overnight visit? What about your friend? Have you noticed bites on their arms, legs, neck, etc? While these bites could be mosquito bites, hives, or even an allergic reaction, you can likely put two and two together as time passes. And finally, although a bit less likely, you may actually see the bed bugs. If your friend is in the midst of a full-blown infestation, this becomes a greater possibility. Roughly as large as an apple seed and reddish brown in color, bed bugs have six legs and are quite flat in appearance, at least generally speaking. As it relates to specific signs you can identify in the home, it's important to pay close attention to all the tiny cracks and crevices, the folds of a mattress, underneath a mattress, etc. Bed bugs also leave behind fecal spots, similar to a black ink mark in appearance. Fecal spots are common where bed bugs tend to hide. Bed bugs also shed. The appearance of a translucent shell is another positive sign that bed bugs have invaded. Although quite hard to see and generally no larger than one millimeter, a collection of shells are more visible. Generally speaking, bed bugs can be found within eight feet of the bed. However, they can go any and everywhere if a full infestation is in progress. Can you get bed bugs from your friend's home? It's possible, but it's not likely. Bed bugs come out to feed and then return to their hiding locations. Unlike fleas and lice, bed bugs don't live on people's bodies. While it's quite common to sustain a bed bug bite, the odds of taking bugs home with you is quite rare. However, it's not impossible. Bed bugs can travel with you if you have brought any type of travel baggage to your friend's home. If bed bugs are using one of your clothing bags, travel bags, or random piled up clothing as a hiding location, it's certainly possible to transport bugs from one home to another. This is why it's best to keep all of your personal items elevated as much as possible and never use the floor as a table, especially if you think your friend's home has an infestation. If you're searching for the best possible ways to avoid getting bed bugs, follow these steps. Step number one, have a chat with your friend. It's all about the approach. As long as you're kind and not judgmental, everything will be fine. You'll get the answers you're looking for, and who knows, you could be of great service when it comes to helping your friend get rid of the problem. Helping your friend launder clothes properly and clean house effectively can go a long way. Make it a positive team effort. If DIY measures aren't enough, help your friend to hire an exterminator. You never know, perhaps all your friend really needed was a step in the right direction to get the ball rolling. Don't be afraid to have a chat. Step number two, don't invite your friend over. And no, it's not as negative as it seems, especially if you've already had a positive conversation. 
there are plenty of spaces to hang out rather than your friend's home. Plan to meet in public locations such as a park, a restaurant, a bar, etc. If you're on the same page with your friend, they'll certainly understand, especially if proactive measures are being taken to combat the problem. If your friend has to come over, and there's no way around it, especially for an extended stay, make sure you clean and sanitize things thoroughly. A detailed vacuuming session should also be in order. If you are concerned about the possibility of a serious problem developing in your home, it's wise to seek a professional evaluation and treatment. If you realize that taking matters into your own hands could be too much of a task, call the professionals. Step 3. Take precautions when you visit. If you're visiting your friend's home, you can take a few precautionary measures to protect yourself, not only from bites, but also from becoming a vehicle for bugs to find their way back to your home. Avoid wearing clothing with a lot of pockets or folds, similar to a mattress with tiny crevices, or like furniture with tiny crevices. Bed bugs can get in your clothing in the same manner if you're not careful. Bring a large plastic bag with you. Place your coat, shoes, and other accessories in the bag and seal it tightly. This way bugs can't get inside. And finally, sit on non-upholstered furniture if possible. A wooden dining chair is ideal. Bed bugs love couches, so avoid them if possible. Stay away from the bedrooms. One more thing. Keep the visit in the living room or the dining room. There's no need to visit ground zero, which is likely your friend's bed. Other measures can also include changing your clothing as soon as you arrive back to your home and washing your old clothing and drying them on high heat. That is also another positive option. And on that note, that will conclude things for this video. We hope you enjoyed the content and found it beneficial. If you would like to see additional content of a similar fashion, we ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're currently viewing us from bedbugsinsider.com or directly from our YouTube page, we would love for you to subscribe. We produce fresh content on a routine basis, so please stick around if this subject matter appeals to you. Question time. Do you have a friend with a bed bug issue? Has this issue ever occurred in the past? If so, what did you do? More importantly, how did you handle it? Did you help your friend treat their home or was the subject matter as a whole simply too awkward to address? Please share your story in the comments section below. What you have to offer can be helpful to others. Treating your own bed bug problem is one thing, but to have a potential clash with a friend over their infestation is certainly quite another. The entire thing can get a bit tricky if not handled in a mature manner. Until we meet again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day.